I'm Laurie Smith, news editor at the Zululand Observer. We're at the moment we're coming to you from Blythdale Main Beach where police and forensic teams and some members of the families of those girls who went missing during the Gerd van Rooyen pedophile case in 1988 and 99 have gathered as police believe that they may have sourced the remains of one of the victims. We, the atmosphere here is obviously quite tense and emotional. There are forensics, ambulance and members of the media converging here at the moment. In, to find an ending to what could have possibly been one of the biggest news stories and certainly biggest paedophile stories that this country may have seen to date. We will keep you updated. Not fit to uh, make a trip like this. Uh, but, yeah. have, you, have you people still kept hope all the time? Yes. It's not something you can just let go. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a, um, have you ever as a family got to a point where you had, I know lots of parents of missing children often they feel like they need closure and they have some sort of memorial or acceptance of their child. Um, you are still hoping that, that, that your sister is I know my mother is. is it? Okay. And did, did, the, did your sister going missing, was that, did your family, you say you're not sure where your father is, was that, did that have anything to do with the breakup of your family or was, was that? Before. I think it just advanced it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, now how, how, what's your age difference with you and her? Four years. You older? Older, yeah. Four years. And she would have been how old today? 39. Sure. Did, did we not show you what time? Probably not.